Waterloo School of Optometry is in fact the only school of optometry in all of English-speaking Canada. We enroll hands down 90 of the brightest kids in Canada every year from across the country. Our faculty actually comes from an astonishing array of countries and they represent a wide mix of expertise and areas of research for a program like ours in which there really are three elements. That is the academic element, the research element, and the patient care element. Success in any of those without some success in all three is really not success. And so we continually strive to have a strong research program generally to provide support for new research and technology in the ophthalmic field for Canada nationwide. It's very exciting just to have that research going on. It's part of the engine that drives us. For the eye, if you can just figure out a way to, to run a light path in and get a photograph out, you can image virtually all of the inside of the eye. Uh, and there are some amazing new technologies available for doing that. A large amount of the imaging data analysis software uh, has actually been developed here. There are equivalent technologies in terms of improved diagnosis for the early detection of diabetes in the eye uh, that have also come out of our center. Uh, we do a huge number of clinical trials and it will be the research we do here that determines whether those technologies have a sufficiently solid base to go out into everyday clinical practice. There's a long history of, of partnering uh, with the ophthalmic industry uh, at this institution. As a general rule, when corporate partners are looking for places in which they could assess the impact or the value or the efficacy of uh, new contact lenses, new optical devices, new solutions for contact lenses, or even new medications for the treatment of eye disease. University of Waterloo School of Optometry is one of the centers uh, of, of real excellence in terms of these clinical trials that most companies will be aware of and will often come here asking us to participate in those trials. We have an array of collaborations uh, that we rely upon. We have a number of faculty who have collaborations at the University of Toronto Medical Center, at SickKids, and at several of the other hospitals in Toronto. Uh, and so those are both clinical collaborations and uh, a number of budding research collaborations that we expect uh, only to grow further over the coming years. I have a, a very close collaboration with the chemical engineering department at McMaster University. Uh, there they have a nuclear power plant facility so uh, we are very involved in labeling proteins with um, isotopes that enables us to do research that very few other places in the world are able to do because they simply don't have access to that kind of technology. There are so many opportunities for, for collaboration here at the University of Waterloo, it, uh, it's amazing. The future of the school is probably one of the main reasons that brought me to this position 18 months ago. Uh, prior to this, I was a uh, professor and vice chair for research in the Department of Ophthalmology at Boston University School of Medicine where I maintained a clinical practice, had an active research program, and also was the eye pathologist for the Boston Medical Center. For me, the area around Kitchener-Waterloo is actually quite similar to the part of Connecticut in which I grew up. So I've been pretty comfortable here. Um, I think access to Toronto is a plus, both in terms of our research collaborations, access to patient care opportunities, uh, and even as a draw region for some of the specialized services that we provide here.